Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. This is a little concerning. There's been an earthquake swarm of 11 earthquakes reported by USGS off the coast of Yamada, Japan. As you know, USGS doesn't report all the earthquakes. There's been 150 earthquakes within the last 48 hours where the uh, Pacific Plate is subducting under the Oak Sock Plate. Let me bring this out. And as you know, yeah, this is close to the uh, location where they had that large earthquake uh, with the tsunami. What was it? A 7.1 where the tsunami traveled all the way over to the United States. Yeah, 150 earthquakes within the last 48 hours. And like I said, there's no clear foreshock. And no clear aftershock. Close to the same location back in 1585, there was a magnitude 9.25 that created a tsunami. And you can probably see the different little valleys here. Um, this was probably caused uh, by a, yeah, a super uh, rupture, a supersonic rupture with landslides. So I am very concerned about this recent swarm of earthquakes. Um, 1928, also close to the same location, there was a 7.3. Several people did send in reports to USGS that they felt this earthquake, the magnitude 5.6, and they have a depth of anywhere between 10 to 35 kilometers. The most recent was a 5.1, 6.2 miles in depth, there was also a 5.0. See, that was deep. 35 or yeah, 25 miles in depth. Um, and we come down here. Um, 6.2 miles in depth, a 5.1, a 5.6, 12 miles in depth. Yeah, they're just jumping all over the plate place. There's definitely something going along um this subduction zone. Uh, 21 miles in depth, 25 miles in depth, 21, um, 12, 6.2, and 5.2. Unprecedented with the last 48 hours, 150 earthquakes. I hope people there are prepared for what could happen. I mean, it does have a history of large earthquakes. You know, here we got the swarm. And then here we got the earthquake that occurred in 2011, which was a 9.0. And that was a super shear earthquake also, where the uh, fault ruptured so fast, uh, faster than the speed of sound. So when they say there's no clear foreshock and no clear aftershock, that means something much bigger probably is going to come. I hope not. I pray not. Earlier today, when I reported about the uh, 3.1 earthquake that occurred there in Yellowstone, I talked about how we are currently um, being influenced by the sun. Um, there was a, a coronal mass ejection, um, earth-directed, and how when, when that happens, it does have an impact on the earth. It can cause earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and also affect people's health. If you have ringing in your ears right now for no apparent reason, well, that's because we're currently being impacted by, you know, the geomagnetic storm. And, yeah, this is definitely um, an effect of that also. Everyone along the coast should have an evacuation plan if a large earthquake does happen and a tsunami siren goes off and you're told to evacuate to higher ground. You should know your routes. You should know uh, what you need to do. If there is a tsunami that travels all the way across to the United States, it would pay, probably take about nine, nine and a half hours. And these large waves move super fast in deep oceans, about 500 miles an hour. I'm not going to, I'm not saying that it's going to happen. I just want people to be aware of what's currently happening there off the coast of Japan. You know, be prepared, have things already packed up in case you got to evacuate to higher ground. 
there in Japan, they do drills all the time. They are really prepared over there. Here's the felt reports that were sent in to USGS from Japan. We got one right here. Moraika intensity level uh, three, which means that, you know, there was light shaking. Things might have been swaying, rattling windows, things like that. There was one report 194 kilometers from the epicenter. So that would be about 120 miles. Uh, we got another one, intensity level 3, 262 kilometers. So that would be about 162 miles there at Sendai. I think I'm going to open up the Japanese website and show you their felt reports. Here we got another one, intensity level 3, 197 kilometers. That would be 122 uh, miles. Um, Hanoki, the Japanese website has a lot more um, posted here. One, um, 2, oh, that was, those were, yeah, that's right. Okay, the 2.6 was yesterday. All right, here's the felt reports. They're saying that it was a 5.6, um, even though, you, yeah, USGS has it a 5.6, and it shows the location, and then the different felt reports. Let me bring this down for you. Yeah, they have a different intensity um, level. But a look all the way across to the other side of the island. So this is not an interactive map. The darker blue would be intensity level 3, which would be uh, in the center of the island, farther away from the coast, it looks like. Yeah, I wish this was interactive. i got to find the other map, um, but I'm not going to take the time to go through all my bookmarks and stuff. But yeah, this was felt over it very wide area anyways i thought i'd give you a heads up about this um if you have any thoughts or comments or questions please put them down below thank you very much for watching yeah 150 within the last 48 hours amazing please like please share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later god bless you all bye